Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Martin Chella. So in this video right here, I will be sharing with you guys the ultimate recipe for cookies for this holiday season, okay, that everybody is going to be enjoying and you're going to have amazing compliments once you put these cookies out. So I'm going to be sharing that cookie recipe with you guys because you guys know that I am working on my cocoa bar and of course we're going to be needing cookies to put out, but we're not going to be putting store-bought cookies. They're a little bit too sweet and it's just not the best. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bake some cookies and I'm gonna show you the recipe for these ultimate delicious cookies and hopefully you enjoy it and you'll give this recipe a try so a little up to date here for this holiday season here we are not gonna be traveling we're gonna be staying in-house for the holiday season so we gotta bring out all the bells and the whistles for this holiday for here and of course we're gonna definitely try to do it on a budget because it is the first time we're kind of refurnishing all of our holiday stuff again okay so come along for this video and stay tuned for more so these are all the ingredients that you're going to be using for this recipe we're going to start off with the flour two and a half cups of flour you're also going to be needing two eggs half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chip, and this butter right here, which we are going to melt and get started. So these are the ingredients. Let's go. So I went ahead and melted the unsalted butter in the microwave for about a minute and then I poured it into the main bowl where I'm going to be mixing up everything. Again, I'm going to repeat, this was unsalted butter. So I went ahead and added the brown sugar first and then the uh, regular sugar and then I whisked everything in together. So you're going to go ahead and mix this sugar into the butter well. You just want it to be mixed well before you move on into adding the other stuff into this mixture right here. And keep in mind that this measurement that I've given you guys, it's what we've worked on so that we can get it to um, that consistency where the chocolate chip cookies are not very sweet but still very enjoyable. Um, there's not too much salt or too sweet or too chocolate chippy that you can't really enjoy. So it's a very good balance. I like to crack my eggs on the side first before adding it to the main bowl simply because you might get a little bit of um, shells in there so that you can clear that out before you drop it into the main bowl. Once you bring the eggs to the main bowl, just mix it in very well. I would recommend following this exact recipe as is, enjoying it the way it is first before attempting to swap out or reducing one or two of the ingredients within this particular recipe so that you know what it is that you want to reduce. Okay, so once the egg is mixed well, you're getting about this consistency. Then I went ahead and added my vanilla extract into the bowl. So it was two teaspoon of vanilla extract. I mixed it as well. I just like to mix along the way sometimes when I'm just adding um, the next step. It's just easier for me to just mix it in like that. And then I added the baking soda and the salt. And then I mix that very well in. The measurement of all these ingredients will be indicated in the description box below. So now I'm just adding my uh, all-purpose flour right here into the mixture that I just mixed in. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that in very well 
before I switch over to a spatula. If you are enjoying this recipe and are making it alongside with me, don't forget to leave me a comment down below and hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. Okay, so you will know when it gets a little bit tough to mix that in with that utensil right there. And then you're going to switch over to your spatula so that it can give you a little bit more better, uh, you know, leverage into kind of getting into there and kind of like mixing it. For the sake of filming and the camera, I was folding it in that direction. So just so that you guys can see, and I didn't want to be in front of the camera, but I was more so kind of like folding it that way. I didn't want my hand to be in front of the camera so you guys can see what I was doing. But pretty much you need to mix it thoroughly so that there's no flour indication anywhere. The liquids there is mixed thoroughly into the all-purpose flour and you get a good consistency. You just want to mix it well before you store it away. And with cookie dough like this, the secret is keeping it into the fridge for at least an hour. You want to keep it in the fridge for at least an hour so that it gets firm enough so that you can shape it into the shape that you want it way much easier. Some people leave it in for less than that, but we would recommend longer. So I went ahead and I dropped in the entire bag of chocolate chip. It's one and a half cup of chocolate chip here. This, these ones are semi-sweet. Okay. I went ahead and mixed them in thoroughly into the dough. At this particular time right here, if you're doing a different flavor, that's when you would mix in your other, you know, uh, flavors there, whether they're nuts and so on. But this particular recipe, we are working on chocolate chip, the ultimate chocolate chip. And this is what we put in. This is the only thing we put in the chocolate chip. And it's easier just to use that method in folding into the dough so that they spread around equally. So I finished mixing my cookie dough in and now I'm going to just cover it and put it into the fridge for about an hour before I work on them again. So after about an hour, we are ready to tray our cookie dough and get it started for cooking. And before I do that, I just put a layer of parchment paper. I have the dough on the counter with an ice cream scoop, which is going to help me make the uh, cookie round shape that I'm going to be needing. So I'm just going to be balling it up into an ice cream scoop to get that nice dome and leaving it into the fridge a while helps you shape that dough very well. So you're just going to also just space it out and give the chocolate chip cookies some space so that they're able to cook and grow in size. And this dough uh, measurement right here was able to give us enough pieces. And I'm able to bake about six on each tray. I turn on my oven at 350. I get it started heating it up and then I put the chocolate chip cookies in. Um, the timing for cooking these is about 10 minutes that's all you would need you're going to get a nice golden um edge and you'll see it at the very bottom there it's going to give you a nice golden edge there it's 10 minutes of baking at 350 and i like to leave mine in just for an additional one minute before I pull it out and this is what it's looking like because it was in the fridge that butter is going to help you give you that shape of that dome and this is what it's looking like after 10 minutes you have that nice domey shape and that goldenness at the very bottom once you take it out this is what it looks like and then you're just going to transfer the cookies over to a cooling stage uh, section before you store them away into your cooking container. So now I'm just transferring them over 
on this tray here so that they can cool. I've already put in the other batch in when I took this one out. So it doesn't take long to bake, only 10 minutes. Like I said, I like to bake mine six by six because these cookies right here can definitely open up depending on how long you have kept the dough in the fridge. The less time you have it in the fridge there, the butter might melt a little bit uh, more quickly and it might get a little bit more fatter and also just depending on the way that you're also scooping it. So you need to pay attention to these factor as well. We like our cookie looking like this, you know, the, right about this size, you know, with this kind of thickness and just take in how that cookie is looking, okay? It is looking yummy. You have enough chocolate chip in there. It's not super sweet. These are the perfect cookies. Okay guys, so that concludes this portion of this video. So I'm gonna be working on them little by little. So I'm gonna get back to the cocoa station. Sorry, I had to insert this one, but you had to know what kind of cookies that I was gonna be inserting in that box that I showed you that I picked up from the dollar store, right? So these are the best cookies. You have to try this recipe. Let me know if you do try it. You guys are going to love it. Love, 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 okay? So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now. Guys. It's so good. So good. Like I showed you guys already. It's so good.